Sorry. Best uh, Americana album. Best Americana album. Oh, forgive me. It's blue, forgive it's me, forgive me. It's bluegrass right. if you're not that good a musician. That's what Americana is. All right. Jasmine, you want to kick us off? Kick us off, Jasmine. Congrats. Thank you. How does it feel to win the Grammys? Fantastic. Today? It's 100% better than losing the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question over here. Please state your outlet. All right. Hi, San Diego Union Tribune. Um, on Friday night, you played a decidedly non-Americana Bon Jovi song, and you nailed it pretty well. I'm curious of growing up if you were a hard rock or metalhead. Oh, yes. I, you know, I played the guitar. First of all, Wanted Dead or Alive is the Americana Bon Jovi song. Um, but, uh, yeah, I grew, up, I grew up playing guitar, so I studied those things. But the connection with Bon Jovi for me is my Aunt Crystal. Everybody's fun aunt loves Bon Jovi more than anything else in the world, and mine was no exception. And she had the poster of John on her wall through her first three husbands and would not allow them to take it down. And when I was a small child learning to play the guitar, it didn't matter what I played. If it was not Bon Jovi, she said, that sucks. You have to learn some Bon Jovi. So I've known how to play one in Dead or Alive since I was about seven years old. <laughs> yeah. One more question over here. Okay. Hi, Jason. Dave Schultz from yeah. Premier Networks, iHeartMedia. Um, you had a movie made during the making of this album. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about how that ties in, you know? With yes. The, Are you yeah. referring to the uh, Scorsese movie? No. Because the documentary was the album before. And uh, since I didn't win any Grammys for that, I'm not, I don't have shit oh, to say okay. about that. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So, y'all got to earn my questions. Okay. Do you have any, uh, you I'll, know, I'll, when I'll your have, appetite working I'll, with Scorsese? Yeah. yeah, I'll get you. There. I'll get you there. Um, I was lucky enough to be in Killers of the Flower Moon, and I was in Oklahoma for about three months. Um, and there's a lot of downtime for acting, especially since we got into storm season. So I spent a lot of time in old timey costumes and and makeup uh, with nothing to do. So I started writing these songs, and a lot of these songs on weather vanes were influenced by the time that I spent in rural Oklahoma and the realization that I had that it was extremely similar to not only the place where I grew up in Alabama, but Nashville and New York City and Los Angeles, and people are all kind of looking for the same thing. So that really led to how this album got created. All right, that's our last time for our last question. Okay, thank you all. Have a great day.